Greetings everyone, this is Potato Hedgehog, and welcome back to Mad Father. Last we played, we figured out that there were some strange happenings going on in the Drevis household. And now we are a little girl named Aya, and we are trying to figure out what's going on while trying to rescue our father. And my cat just walked into my room. <laughs> hey little buddy. But in any case, let's continue. Hey look, same bloody footprints as before. How lovely. And I just realized we cannot quick save like we can in Misao. That's odd, but oh well. A health bar? Why would we need one of those? I hear Squishy. I don't like Squishy. I'm just telling you now, I don't like Squishy. Oh, it's those same doll zombies. And I, and I knew, um, I juked them. Lovely. Dein Valmarder? I have no idea what the fuck that says. It's a barrel. It's a barrel. Let me interact with shit, alright? More barrels. There's something there. <laughs> what is that? It's a giant amphibian. Amphromorphous blob of flesh. Rawr. I can't get through here. I think there's something we need to do to that giant blob of flesh before we can continue. And they all look human, so, um. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to destroy that. There's something on the ground over there, and I think it's a gem, but I don't want to risk it. I mean, unless they're far away. Got it anyway! Screw it! Ah! Zombie, no! And they can't follow you. This is not Skyrim. Awesome. Toy soldiers? What's this? blood on the floor. Are you not going to acknowledge that? Oh, the recreation room. Did that just move? Birdie! Thanks, Birdie. He's fire! I thought I heard someone. Maybe you... That picture just moved! You cannot fool me with that shit! There's something on top, but Aya can't reach. Maybe that's what this is for. Poosh! Poosh it! Poosh it! Poosh it! Poosh, 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 poosh! Poosh it! And then poosh it! Yeah! Got kookery knife. Why would we need that for? Why would a kid need a kookity knife? Alright, now let's investigate this painting. A powerfully moving painting. Yeah! Zombie! Zombie, no! Oh shit, we have quick time events. That's lovely. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. Oh shit. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, that's how we're doing this, huh? Didn't give me enough time to read the fucking quick time events. Thanks, game. Ah! 
Note to self, don't look at a fucking painting next time. Right, left, right, breath. Eh, 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 and I had just leaped over that table. Well, that was my first death in this game. It probably won't be the last, but whatever. <sighs> Sometimes I hate quick time events. Yes, kid, you did hear someone, but you don't know who it was. Now, can I reobtain the knife so I don't get killed again? Arigato! Yeah. There's a draft through the hole. Move the painting. Yes! Had a feeling we were supposed to do that anyway. Oh yeah. This door was broken. But how did it break? I don't get it. It's Walter! The pond is full of water. Okay, why do we need to see that, though? Another gem! What do you know? Which means I got two gems in this episode. Lovely. Alrighty, then. Got killed by a zombie. That's not right. This is the most exquisite-looking bathroom I have ever seen. What could this be? A cafeteria key. Lovely. Um, zombie in the tub. Okay. Are we not going to acknowledge this? Apparently we're not going to acknowledge this. Okay. Why was that necessary? I don't know. Away with you. That is a living doll. What? Why was that doll moving? Is that part of the curse, too? Yeah, no kidding. I'm surprised those toy soldiers didn't move just now. Alright, if I remember from this game correctly, the cafeteria is in those two double doors over there, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Yeah! Birdie! Hi, Birdie. Alright. But could be in corpse. It's not moving. It's a corpse of a zombie doll. Ura! Um, I thought you said it wasn't moving. And another gem. Lovely. Zombie dog! That is indeed a zombie dog, and I think he's holding something important. Got oil. I think I need that. A ravenous dog devours the food. I should stay away. Right, kid. Wait, what? Another gem! Holy shit! Ah! It, it's still looking at me. Um... Bad zombie dog! Bad! It's bad! Wait, what the hell? For some reason I thought I couldn't go up the stairs. Stairs in RPG horror games, my one nemesis. Along with quick time events. Okay, we got oil. But what do we do with said oil? That was a corpse, I saw that. Run away, little critter! Get out of here! Wait, what? 
Another gem! How the fuck do I keep finding these? A sturdy spider web. Tearing it down barehanded would get you stuck. Yeah. That wasn't there in the original. I know that for sure. Now, where did that corpse come from? Doll corpse or whatevers. And let me guess, another gem? Yep! A decorative doll. So detailed, it barely seems like a doll. But what if it isn't? <laughs> Close the blinds. There appears to be something over here. Dolls! Lovely. The dolls have a creepy smile. Thank you for not showing me that. If there's anything that creeps me out in a horror game, it's definitely creepy dolls. So this game is hitting that mark very well. Thanks, Birdie. Whoa! Why was that necessary? Give, give her back. Give my daughter. Run, kid. Thanks for the jump scare. Got archives key. Thank you. It's locked. I don't know the code to unlock it. There's a diary on the floor. Okay. You can pause and read that because I don't want to read it myself. I think this was Aya's mother's room. Medicine which father uses. Oh wait, this is her father's room. I think. Then again, I don't know. You sense someone. He's not! He's not! That weird guy is gone. Wait, wait, wait. Bunny! Snowball is relaxing. Wait, you can take Snowball with you? I would, but not right now. I have a feeling we're gonna need him later. And it looks like Dio flew the coop. To the attic! The ladder is missing a section. Alright, I suppose the next step is to find the archives. Thanks, Birdie. Bye, Birdie. Oh, look, the health bar is back. Lovely. To the archives! Oh look, bold motherfucker is back. Oh wait, he's gone. Data on live experimentation. Ugh. There's something stuck in here. And that's the code for the safe, which we just saw. Nice. CHILD! No. Flashback. Father. I want to go home. I want to see Mama. Don't worry. I shall take you to her once this is all over. No, I want to go now. Mama. Mama. Don't fret. Everything will be fine. We just wish to test this medicine. It may hurt a bit, but not much. You'll soon feel such relief. No! Mama! Stop!
You just fucked up that kid. Why would you do this? Stop! Punch! That child is now deceased. It's not good. It's not good. Thank you for letting me save. It's locked. I have a feeling that room is going to be important since it's locked. It's not. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Was there something else we needed? Oh, that kid dropped something. There's something here. Got a pendant. Thank you! Alright, now to go back to that safe which was locked earlier. No jump scare. Okay, thank god. Alright, let's take a look at that code memo. Barrels in first floor east hall, chandeliers in entrance hall, red, roll, red dolls in doll room, paintings in reception room. Hmm. What language is this again? Wait. I think I learned a little of it once. Let's see if I can remember. Alright, I'm gonna look at that code real quick, so I will be right back, folks. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So, the code is 7482. So, yeah. Yeah! I got it! Now, what could be in here? It contains mother's belongings. It smells like mom. There's a lamp in here. It's pretty dark, so it'd be nice to have a light. Just borrowing this, mom. Got lamp. This is... Mom's perfume. It's flashback time! Is he still at work? You, Maria. Doctor. Huh? Father? You're witnessing adultery, kid. Sorry to have fucked you up for your entire existence. Aya! There you are! Doesn't your father always tell you not to go into the basement? M mom He... I knew it! He's cheating on me with her! I can't believe this! Some whore he picked up the, off the street! I won't forgive him! Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned! Should have taken that lesson to heart, Doc. Pacing around the room. <sighs> this stupid thing! Ah! And she tosses it out of the room. Then Kid picks it up. Mom's usually so nice. But that day... She was like a different person. This perfume. I put it back in her dresser after that, but... She took care of it. That's good. After all, Mom got this from Father on their anniversary. I'll take it as a good luck charm. Alright, Mom? And then she respectfully closes the safe. Get on, you kid. Alright, nothing else important. Save it the bird! 
Yeah! Alright, is there anything else that we need to do? Alright, Snowball, you're coming with me. Here, Snowball! Snowball loves Father, too, don't you? Flashback! Three flashbacks within an episode! Snowball! Snowball! Where are you? And your legs hurt, too. What do I do? I'm worried. Snowball! Where did you get to? I was so worried when you disappeared. I couldn't wrap up that wound with you running around. Wait, huh? Your wound's healed. Whew. What a troublesome rabbit. Father! Aya, try not to let Snowball out of your sight, will you? The rabbit made such a mess of the kitchen. Sorry. Snowball must have been trying to get a bite of Maria's cooking again, huh? Did you find Snowball, Father? Yes, and fixed up that leg while I was at it. Good thing Father's around, huh, Snowball? Thank you, Father! Snowball is part of the family. Treated as well as any other. Yeah! Welcome to the family, son. Let's go save Father together. Got Snowball. Snowball is an item! Why isn't he following you around? Like some normal animal follower would. I have a feeling we're missing something in the cafeteria, so let's go back in there. Hopefully we're not being obliterated by the zombie hound over there. Oh! Okay. To the basement! Yikes! It's pitch black! Oh, the lamp! Yay! Good thinking, kid. And I think Snowball can go through that crack. It's locked. Alright, Snowball, get in there, buddy. A hole in the wall. I couldn't fit through in there. But maybe Snowball could. S yes. Oh, I forgot. Snowball's an item that you actually need to use. There we go. Please, Snowball. Yeah, whatever, kid. I'm gonna bounce around in here real quick. Real quick, like. Yeah. Lamp oil. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce the fuck right out of here. Wait a minute, what the hell? Nah, fuck it. Yo, kid! Got something for you! I'm the- I'm getting the hell out of here! Uh-oh. Oh no! The light went out! Why won't it work? Please? Thumbnail. Was someone behind me? Just imagining it. Sure you were, kid. In any case, um... Wait, lighter oil plus oil... What? Okay, zombie dog didn't notice me this time, and the bird is not there. Why is bird not there anymore? I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that one bit. Okay, bird is here. That's good. Alright. The lighter oil. What do I do to get rid of that giant thingamajig in the basement? Huh. What do I do about this? What do I do about that giant blob? Well, I have lighter oil and I have oil, but I don't have a lighter. What is one to do about this? Alter. What is one to do? 
What is one to do? I intend to make this a long episode, so... Ooh? Huh? Ah, I remember this book. There was a girl who has this mysterious power to control fire. And she goes on a journey to find the family she's been separated from. Proclaiming, burn all those in my way. She did exactly that to all her foes. But I think in the end, her power got out of control and destroyed the world. So she never met her family in the end. She was all alone. A poor girl all alone. If I lose father, I'll be alone too. I don't want it. I have to save father, quick! Then why are you standing around reading books, kid? Ain't the best thing to do. The full moon is pretty. Just like on the day mom died. Alright. I'm thinking I have to burn that giant anthropomorphous blob. So, um... A gorgeous chair. I have a feeling I have to burn that giant blob thing that I saw in the basement, but... If I have lighter fluid, that means I need a lighter to go along with it, right? It would only make sense. But where would one find a lighter? That's the question. It's fire! I thought I heard a voice from the fireplace. Maybe it's just me. Or maybe it's another jump scare. Charm Encyclopedia. If only good luck charms like that existed in the real world. Or maybe I did. Maybe they do. Or maybe I'm just a dumbass. Alrighty then. Where is one to find a lighter? Light horror. Ah ha ha! Zombie no! Zombie no! No 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 no! Come at me, bro! Eh! 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 No. Absolutely not. And I think she's stuck on that door. Okay, no. She's not stuck on that door. Good. What do I do about this? Oh, the knife. There we go. A spider. Anyway. Aha! Look at you, Potato, making progress! Why did that fall over? Why? Why was this... T I saw that! You cannot tell me I didn't see that. Okay. This game just thrown on the shade right now. Fill the lighter with oil. Yes. Weird slurping noises. Got lighter. Okay, we can burn that giant thing right now. Move aside, zombies! Don't appreciate your shit! What should I do? It's like in the flame egg. Burn all those in my way. Huh? Yeah, I can burn it. But how? Yep. Do it! Yeah! Oh, I was right. That thing is human. Go back and face your fears, kid. Yeah, that thing is dead. Poor anthropomorphous mass. Birdie! Ooh, laboratory. Maria! Mistress, 
You're wounded. <sighs> but I will be fine. Forget me. Escape somewhere safe. It is dangerous here. Where's father? I heard him scream from my room. <clears throat> I must save the doctor. <clears throat> you can't go on like that. But... Maria, what happened to father? The doctor is further in. His wife, she... His wife? My mom? What do you mean? Maria! Maria! My, it seems she's passed out. You again? At any rate, it sounds like your father has gone on ahead. Deeper into the underground maze. What did Maria see? Mom passed away, right? What's going on here? Don't tell me... the curse. You'll only be able to confirm your suspicions by pressing on, won't you? What a weird guy. She's fainted. Okay. Well, I think that was a massive plot dump. So, I'm going to end things here. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mad Father, please leave a like and a comment to let me know, and I will see you guys in the next part. Adios!